Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how I make these delicious cranberry drumsticks. For this recipe, you're going to need one can of cranberry sauce. As always, I'm going to have the exact measurements in the description box below for you. I just like to break it up a little bit before I add the other ingredients. To that, I'm going to add half a cup of orange juice, a quarter cup of Louisiana style hot sauce. I like using this one, but you can use any brand you like. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. One and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. One and a half teaspoons of onion powder. One tablespoon of yellow mustard. And the last thing is two tablespoons of honey. Carefully whisk this together until everything is combined. I really hope you give this recipe a try because it's so good. Oh my goodness, it's so easy and so good. And if you don't want to use drumsticks for this recipe, you can use wings. Either one would work. But I figured because it's the holiday, people are spending a lot of money. It's just cheaper to buy drumsticks than buying wings. So here I have almost 5 pounds of drumsticks. This was one big package and that gave me 13 drumsticks. And make sure you wash your meat and wash all underneath the skin to get all that sliminess off. And as you know Belizeans, we like to wash our meat. And I like to wash it with either lime juice or some distilled white vinegar. Now I'm just going to put these in my slow cooker. I'm going to season that with 1 tablespoon of seasoned salt and this is the one I like to use. Stir that around so the chicken could get coated with the seasoning. And I like to season it in the pot just so that all the seasoning could stay in the pot and not in a bowl. So I just like to do it this way. Now you're going to pour all that delicious and beautiful sauce over the meat. Oh, it just looks like the season. Stir that a little bit just to make sure everything is coated with the sauce. Cover this and cook this on high for 3 to 3.5 three hours or until your chicken is fully cooked. After the chicken is fully cooked, I'm going to put it on a baking sheet that I line with aluminum foil just for easy cleanup and then I'm going to broil it. I like to broil it to give it some color and flavor. It makes me feel like I'm eating my drumsticks off the grill. <laughs> That's what you have to do when you don't have a grill, right? If you haven't been following me on Instagram yet, you can do so at Cooking with Sharani. I'm always sharing stuff over there, so come follow me. While I was waiting for the oven to be ready, I went ahead and took all that gravy out of the pot. I'm going to put it on the stove and reduce it to make a nice sauce. Everything 
As you can see, it looks a little bit oily, so just try to skim off as much of the oil as you can. While the sauce is reducing, I'm going to go ahead and broil the meat, and I'm going to broil it for 5 minutes on each side. Make sure you keep an eye on the meat because you know how that is when you broil stuff. The minute you turn your back, the next thing you know, it's all burnt up. <laughs> I'm just going to flip these over and broil them 5 minutes on the next side. After the gravy has reduced for 15 minutes, I'm going to add some cornstarch to it. And I mix 1 tablespoon of cornstarch with 1 tablespoon of water to make a slurry. And now I'm just going to let this continue to simmer for 5 more minutes. After your 5 minutes is up, turn off your stove. And then what you'll want to do is take your drumsticks and dip them in the sauce and then you're done. I'm not sure how to describe this other than it tastes like a really nice barbecue sauce, but not really. <laughs> and you can always dip it in extra sauce if you want to because you're going to have a lot of leftover sauce. So sometimes I just put a little bit in a little dish and just dip it in there. Oh my goodness, it's just so good. I waited a little bit for the sauce to cool down so you can see how it thickens up when it cools down and then I dip some more drumstick in there. So if you like a lot of sauce in your drumstick, you might want to wait a little bit for it to cool down before you dip it in there. Well, I really hope you give this recipe a try for the holiday season. It's so good and so easy. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help out my channel. It helps to get my videos out there. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed, please don't forget to do that. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.